Welcome to Morton Dock. Uh, make yourself comfortable while we finish some preliminary ship checks. My name's Theo Acosta, and I'll be running your Pilots' Federation evaluation. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license, so as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. Oh, and uh, before you ask, I may sound like an Imperial, but uh, I'm actually from an independent system. Today we'll be covering the basics of flight control, combat, and frameshift drive use. This Sidewinder has been installed with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. These are shown in the info panel at the top right of the head-up display. Okay, you're good to go. Select auto-launch from the options ahead of you when you're ready. Accelerate through the first checkpoint when you're ready to start. And we're off. There's no time limit, so maintain a comfortable speed while you familiarize yourself with the controls.
consider the angle and speed of your approach. See the blue marker beside the throttle gauge. This indicates the optimum turning speed.
In the top left of your HUD is the comms panel, which displays pilot communications and contacts across several channels. The top right, that's your info panel, entries here mostly relate to your ship's status, computer messages and events happening around you. Ah, there we go. Welcome to Lightspeed. scanning objects you're unfamiliar with to learn more about them. Next, you need to activate your weapons by cycling to a different fire group. You'll notice that your weapons are now listed on your HUD. Fire groups allow you to manage your hard points efficiently. Let's begin the combat evaluation. Destroy several of the canisters. have an effective range, so you may need to move closer here. Try targeting the canister you're aiming at. structures. Why not give them a try? Your cannon will automatically reload until the ammunition supply runs out. Meanwhile, your laser will fire until the capacitor is depleted, at which point it will need to recharge.
up the challenge a notch, shall we? An unmanned craft has arrived nearby. These drones are used by the Pilots' Federation as target practice, and they're quite harmless. To continue, bring the craft into your sights and open fire.
Technology has made the task of leaping between star systems appear trivial. Never let this simplicity distract from the marvel humanity has achieved. Your next stop is Quello Station. This time we'll employ the Supercruise Assist module to guide your approach. Open the external interface panel to your left and select the Navigation tab. Highlight the starport in the location list and then select Supercruise Assist. It's the second option.
If you're having issues locating the request docking command, exit the interface. Never mind. You've got it. Docking assist has been engaged. You've been assigned landing pad 3. The compass will point towards your designated pad. Ships need to be within 7.5 kilometers of a starport for a docking request to be considered. Yeah. 